The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 3rd, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. We'd love to hear from you. You can call us at 877-927-6648. Now, if you'd like a question and answer, but you can't call in, you can always send me an email. You send that to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside that subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question. And, of course, inside our Tigers, then, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. And I guess I forgot what else I was going to say. So uh, uh, but this is a TFNN. So let's go ahead and get this show started. Right now, you got all the U.S. indices trading the upside. The Dow's up 658. S&P's up 75. NASDAQ 100, 180. Russell's up 40. Semi's up 84. Uh, that's anywhere between the lowest percentage uh, move to the upside is the NASDAQ 100 up 1 and 7 tenths. The highest is the semis up 3 and 6 tenths percent out there. Gold is up nearly 2% or 28 bucks. Silver's up nearly 8%, 7 half really, uh, trading up at a buck 42 out of 2046. Lights recruit up 3 bucks. That's nearly 4% to the upside. Natural gas, the only stinker out here. That is uh, trading down uh, 36 cents out at 640 and the 30 Treasury up a uh, 2 Full points and 21 ticks. She's trading. They're trading out at 129.02. Now lead the charge. Dollar wise, the upside. Regenerative Pharmaceuticals up six percent of 43 bucks. Booking Holdings two percent, 34 bucks. Mercado Libre up 29 bucks, three and a half percent. Lamb Research six percent, 22 bucks. To the downside, it's Tesla of 22 bucks, eight percent. Chipotle's down one and a quarter percent or 19. Xperi is down 10 bucks or 38 percent. The Pellis Pharmaceuticals down 12% or 8 bucks. So we've got some movers and we have some shakers. But let's begin the day by taking a look at the equity future chart. So give me a moment here. We'll get those up on our screen. Well, I guess we can do it this way, too. Let's go take a look at what's going on by the daily time frames. We'll take a look at two different sets of chart patterns out here. First, uh, these are the daily time frame. you got the ES in the upper left. Let's take a look at that. And the ES in the upper left, what you'll see is an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. Now, that pattern was negated with a close below the close of last Wednesday. That close out there was 36.13. It managed or it managed to close below that on Friday, as well as closing below the bottom of its daily profile. However, if at day's end, we end up with a bullish reversal candle, you will get another confirmed by the D point pattern. So where does that leave us? Well, that leaves us here right now. You can see price is right up against a potential resistance area. That is the center of its daily profile. That's at 36.77. It's a bullish structured profile. Counter trend moves once you get below. Typically, it's two candles below the bottom of a bullish structured profile out there. And that may really be the case, but still we'll use it as a potential area where a counter trend rally could or should end. And that's at the 36.77 level. We're trading at 36.79. So a clear close above that would suggest otherwise. Now, that otherwise might be just revisiting the top of the profile. That's at 38.07. In the NQ, Similar pattern set up on Friday, negated its bottom pattern out there, TD9 count bottom pattern. 
Uh, price right now is finding resistance at the bottom of its profile. This is not a bullish structure daily profile. So if price can close above 11,241, then Friday's session may have been a false move to the downside. We don't know. But right now what you're watching for in the NQ at day's end is a close back above the bottom of that daily profile, 11,241. <clears throat> the Dow, same kind of patterns out there, meaning Friday's action negated its by the D point. When price closed below the, the, Wednesday, the last Wednesday candle, that low was out at 28,886. The price closed below that on Friday, negated those signals. However, today, right now, we've got a nice big bullish engulfing candle. Price trying to get back inside its daily profile. A close above 29,123 will accomplish that task. If we do get a bearish reversal candle, that will confirm a buy the D point pattern. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 never negated its TD9 count or buy the D point pattern. It's really a TD9 count pattern out there. Today could be a buy the D point pattern. Uh, so it never negated that signal, that support level, or that key support level, 1653.60. Price is inside its daily profile, the bottom of which and the center of which are the same. That's the 1665.75 level. So an area of strong support. This suggests that price should go target the top of its profile, 1757. Now, before price gets to the top of those profiles, what they will contend with on a further rally is going to be the daily oscillator and change lines. Those are going to appear on your screen here momentarily. Those are the red, green, squiggly lines. So for the ES Mini, you want to note this down on your pad of paper. That's around the 3707 area out there. I say around because that number is going to go up and down as price moves higher or lower. So you'll use that as a guideline. In the case of the NQ, 11,367-ish out there. In the case of the Dow, 29,568. And right now, the Russell 2000, which is the strong indice of the four, never busted through support on Friday. And right now, today, it is dealing with its oscillator and change line. So perhaps it's the Russell 2000 that will give us the uh, key out there. That's at 17,1140. We're trading at 17,1140 as we speak right now. So a close above that would then suggest a further rally. Well, if the Russell can do it, maybe the others can do it as well. However, in the meantime, what we're watching for is the uh, price uh, activity during this next half hour. It's 11.13, well, maybe longer than this next half hour. The reason why I say this next half hour is because if you look at the ES Mini, if you look at the NQ and the Dow Equity Future contract, this does not apply to the Russell 2000. The upper left-hand side, you will see that we got a TD9 count top. That formed just as we were coming, well, as it formed at 10.30. When they close above that high, by the way, that high is 36.7375 will negate that signal. Short of that, what price should do is pull back and test its oscillator and change line. A close above it says we've got a, a, the rally extends itself. With regard to uh, the ES Mini, it has a small area of resistance on a 30-minute basis, also at 36.8175. So that's really the level that the ES Mini would need to close above to suggest that we are in rally on mode, at least for its 30 minute time frame. But right now you've got a valid TD9 count top that's in place for the ES. You have the same pattern was the bar following bar number nine for the NQ, a close above 11214 for the NQ on a 30 minute bar will then suggest a further rally. Now there's resistance that is TD9 count breakdown areas and that's at 11262.50, 11271. For the Dow, a close above uh, its high that took place at 10.30, which is 29.422. That would negate that signal and suggest a move up to first 29.508. You clear that, we're headed much higher. The Russell 2000 in a world of its own, there's no topping signal here. It's suggesting it does want higher price. We know that its resistance level was that daily oscillator and chain sign. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world class gold project in the Tier 1 mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16-year mine life. 
All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So I've got the uh, – we'll get to the uh, requests that have come in. We've got five so far. We'll get to those here in a few moments. Uh, this is the weekly chart for the uh, Dow. And if we take a look at what transpired on uh, Friday out here, we know that uh, signals uh, were negated, bottoming signals. We may get new ones on a, a daily basis that form today. But if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart out here, there certainly is the potential that a new A to B equals CD pattern has been uh, confirmed to the downside. The A point out there being the highs from uh, January of 2022. Now the B point we'd be using here is the June lows. And then the uh, retracement, the uh, B to C retracement, August 15th. So here you'll see the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, this suggests that first uh, the retracement here was less than a point. I don't have those turned on. I don't know why I don't, but it's uh, less than a point six one eight retracement out there. That much I know. Price along the C to D leg is on the left side. That's the strong side. The one to one price projection would take us to 26,982, the one to one point two seven two, which is a more likely target, meaning this should do more than a one to one to the downside, would take us to 24,996. Now that's one way of taking a look at what's going on here, and that is a accurate way of taking a look at it, but we've got to do more. So as we go ahead and we uh, populate this chart here, right now I'll leave that A to B equals CD pattern. I may turn that off momentarily. In fact, I will turn it off right now. Let's just turn that off. What's another way for us to take a look at this uh, chart? Well, one way to take a look at it is the uh, current descending trend line. So these are, now in this case here, these are the channel lines utilizing the uh, tool and the techniques uh, that uh, Bud Rolfs taught us, which was to use the actual body of the candle, look for two or more co-located opens and closes, use those, and that's what we have along the uh, top and the uh, bottom here. So what we can see when we use that tool and that method out there, that what price did on Friday was it got down to the bottom of that descending price channel. So the question is, will price make a move now? Will we have a rally with price taking us up into the top of that descending price channel? Wait a minute, Stevie. You just gave us the A to B equals CD to the downside out there. 
yes, we got to take a look at both sides of the trade. Now, if price can regain the B point, so that's the key area here to be watching. That key point out there, out here, was the um, is the price level. I've got Apogee. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to have that on there. Uh, at twenty nine six fifty three twenty nine. If price can get back above that, what that would then suggest to us is more likely than not, price is going to try to make that counter trend move up to that descending trend line. That is not the only trend line that is or channel lines that are out there. Here are actual uh, uh, price channels as well that take us back into the 20, uh, 2009 uh, time frame. Again, each price channel, when price breaks out to the upside or the downside, what you do is you just simply uh, multiply it times two, the original channel size out there, and that gives you these price projection areas. So uh, I'd be watching the 29,653 area, and then of course you can always populate this with the horizontal trading range boundary lines. Price closed uh, just slightly below that level, the weekly level 28,909. It's back above it. So the key area here to be watching is going to be this 29,653.29 for further clues as to what the market's intent is. So that's really an overview of of the indices, I guess, lastly, uh, what we can do is take a look at, well, I'll have to do it. I'll fire it up during a uh, during a breakout there. Take a look at market breadth so we get a feel for what's going on there. So let's do this here. Let's uh, spend some time taking a look at the requests that have uh, come in. And then uh, during a, a break, I'll pull up market breadth and we'll take a look at that and try to get a feel for what the, is being communicated to us. Well, that wasn't the panel I was looking for, was it? Uh, no, I guess it was this panel. So actually, our first request Coming in from uh, Dan inside the Tiger's Den. I want to take a look at ticker symbol BCLI. So we're going to switch over to our white background charts here momentarily. Give me a moment. And we'll get our three panel chart out there. Now, I apologize, Dan. I don't recall specifically what you were looking for. So I'm just going to do my analysis here. And hopefully that provides you with the information you're looking for. If not, just uh, ping me and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So right now, you've got price trading above the top of its daily profile. The top of the daily profile is $4.37 out there. A second consecutive close above that would suggest higher price. Now, what price has got to really deal with is resistance. So the resistance was set up by this Rosemont Dome indicator top on the trading day of September 15th. And that set up resistance at 449. So that's a resistance level as well. If price can clear that, then it should go take on that uh, big wide ranging bar from August the 15th and get up into the 470 level. As we take a look at the uh, weekly time frame chart, you will notice that last week was bar number nine of a TD9 count. However, it's not a valid TD9 count topping pattern because bar number three has been the high out there. So price would have to take that out in order to set up a weekly TD9 count top. What price is doing, Dan, it is consolidating with inside its weekly profile with the resistance level being 448. So there's a, uh, was it 448 was the high of that, uh, 449 was the high of that uh, Rhodes Mintum indicator topping resistance level from September the 15th. And on a monthly basis, not really a whole heck of a lot out here, although it does look like price is above, where's the top of that monthly profile? That's at 261. Really? No, can't be. I guess it could be 688, 688. I don't know. That's strange. I'm not. I'm not really seeing this properly here. Let me just go over to my other charts here. BCLI. I'd like to give you accurate information. And on a monthly basis, the monthly profile is at 361, 361. So you're well above it. So, Dan, you're, you're dealing with some resistance areas out there. That's all that I see at this stage here. So I do hope that that helps you out, and thanks so much for the uh, request. The next request coming in from John inside the Tiger's Den. He wanted to take a look at really specifically the daily and weekly charts here for the uh, gold contract. So we'll just stay with this uh, same set of charts. It's going to pop up the monthly uh, data for you as well. What we know about the weekly time frame is what Goldilocks did was it generated really three bottom patterns, three bottom patterns that Johnny likes out there. The first one being wave number seven. That is a letter G. That is a very small part. Well, I take that back. That pattern really got negated, didn't it, John? Yeah, because we saw a price move below that um, a couple of weeks ago. All right, so now we're down to two bottom patterns out here that form inside of the daily time frame for gold. TD9 count bottom, that remains in effect, and a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. Price right now is trading above uh, it's a uh, 1695.70 level. That's the top of its daily profile. A close above that is a short-term bullish signal. That short-term bullish signal, John, should then take price up to its TD9 count breakdown area on a daily time frame. That's at 1742.90. On a weekly time frame chart, here you've got wave number potential wave number seven out there. But more important, you've got a buy the D point pattern. 
that buy the D-point pattern formed last week with a bullish piercing candle. The resistance level for Goldilocks, as we can see out here, it has struggled to close above its oscillator and change line. doesn't matter whether it's red or green. So the price area, even though I said 1742.90, the real resistance area is going to be as price approaches that weekly oscillator and change line. John, that's currently printed at 1760.60. The bottom of the daily profile is at 1716.60. We know that line will move up and down um, as price moves up and down. But that's really the next resistance level. Price can close above the weekly oscillator and change line, something price has not done since April 22nd out there that would then suggest to us a change in trend that does not mean the battles are not over because as you can see weekly profile levels exist at 1757.50 and 17.98 on a weekly on a monthly basis john uh, what price did it had a nice roadsman indicator top and what price found support is where it should have which was inside its monthly ball structured profile that's between 1576 to 1638 hope that answers the questions you were looking for thanks for the request have a great day folks we'll be back right after this break on to our next question. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Sorry about that, folks. Apparently, we had uh, some kind of technical issues going on there. Uh, you did see the uh, gold charts. Thank you, uh, Flip. Uh, Dan, did you see the BCLI uh, charts out there? I hope that you did. If not, um, you know, uh, you did. Okay, great. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't see the messages coming in as I was focused on the uh, charts themselves. So we should be good to uh, continue on here. So let's go to our next question. Th this coming in by email. Uh, give me a moment here. This one coming in from uh, Hector. And Hector says, happy marvelous Monday, QQQ weekly ABCD down, impossible buy the D point. Where would you draw the ABC weekly down? This is for the Qs. So 
let's go to the uh, black background charts out here, and that way we can answer that question more easily, uh, just simply because of the tool. So uh, what uh, Hector and Patty are asking about the QQQ, specifically the weekly time frame chart out here, and as we take a look at the A to B equals CD to the downside, the pattern that I would really draw in here is this one now. Let's delete it. This is the larger one. And that's going to take us back to the November high of 2021. We're going to use the June lows as the uh, B point, the June 13th low. And then we're going to use the uh, August 15th high as the uh, C point. That was a 46% uh, uh, retracement on that B to C leg. As long as price remains below 269.28, it is above that level now. So, you know, maybe it's going to be a complicated A to B equals CD pattern. But what we really need to see here, Hector and Patty, now what price did on a weekly basis, the volume of that B point for the Qs was 409 million shares. And last week we saw 380 million shares. So it wasn't confirmed. It was confirmed by price, but not confirmed by volume out there. So what we can see is that on the queues out here on a weekly basis, it was a bullish structured profile that price broke through yesterday, uh, last week, second week in a row. Counter trend moves, which we may have that is going on here for the queues, for the, for the market itself. The counter trend move on the queues and Hector should find resistance at either 282.52, but more likely 294.05, the center of that bullish structured weekly profile. But this is the this is the one to one A to B equals CD that will get us down into the 194 level. That's as long as price remains below 269.28. Remember, it's a weekly chart that we're looking at too. So it doesn't matter what Monday at 11:32 this chart looks like. It matters what it looks like at Friday afternoon at 4 p.m. So that was the weekly chart. Let me make sure I answer your questions. Where would you draw the A to B equals CD? So we've done that. You're asking X, X on mobile if you've got time. Does this qualify for a daily island reversal bottom? Well, let's go find out. XOM. Let's take a look at it. Let's go back, take a look at the daily time frame charts out here. And uh, pull this up on our screen. So here's X on mobile for the daily time frame. Uh, yeah, it qualifies most certainly uh, out here. Uh, that's because where we had, we had the big gap that uh, Hector was looking at was basically began the low, this is the daily time frame chart, the low from September 22nd, then we saw that gap down the very next day. Then we've got a gap to the upside, so that creates this little island. Let me get rid of the A to B equals CD, and let me draw that island in for everybody else out there. Now, we really prefer island bottom patterns to occur at lows. That is certainly not the case here for the uh, X, uh, for the daily chart for Exxon Mobil. That doesn't mean it's not an island bottom out there. In fact, what we really should do is also just take a look at Exxon Mobil's white background charts. Well, we did see a buy the D point pattern uh, that had formed out here. Certainly, today's gap to the upside accomplishes uh, that as well. But what Exxon Mobil actually had out here before today's activity, Hector, was a daily TD nine count pattern. So let's switch over to those white background charts. You'll see those momentarily, and you'll see the nice TD nine count bottom. Now, what price is doing today that is important for it is it is uh, trading back inside its profile. Daily profile, we saw that 8990, 89.62, the bottom, and it's a back above its oscillator and change line. So as long as price remains Hector and Patty above 89.62, the signal here is move up to 91.91. That's the next battleground out there, and then the safeties are sitting at 94.20. So that's where price is likely to head to. The weekly time frame chart shows us a nice consolidation pattern with inside its weekly profiles. This suggests a potential move up to the 9506. So we're going to call about 9506 is likely where Exxon Mobil is uh, targeting. So Hector and Patty, thanks so much for writing in and uh, have a uh, magical uh, Monday. The next question coming in from uh, Rachel. Rachel writes in, TOST has shown up on one of my scans and having high institutional buys this year. TOST. So let's get toast up on our screen out there. I haven't had a good piece of toast in a while. The question continues on. Was wondering if you could look at the stock for me. I've already bought a few shares, looking like a basing bottom is formed. If confirmed bottom, would be looking to add a further position. Thanks, Rachel. So Rachel, we take a look at the daily time frame for toast. And I don't know what toast is, but it is an individual stock out here. Um, what I do not see is any kind of bottom signal on the daily time frame. More likely than not, what Toast is doing, let me just check on my other system out here. So the B point of an A to B equals CD had 4 million shares, and it was passed with 7.4 million shares on Friday. So I'll show you that A to B equals CD pattern momentarily. Let me see if there's anything else here on Toast. So uh, you say there's a lot of uh, insider buying. Well, you're on the best side of the insider 
side that is because we're going to go take a look at the charts and see what actual buyers and sellers are communicating to us which at this stage here is an a to b equals cd to the downside so steve let's get to it out there let's go to those black background screens so that rachel can see where that next uh, buy purchase is likely going to uh, be which may be around 1466 that was the td9 count breakout level so that's one area to be watching but we'll expand out this chart here and uh, rachel the a point that's going to be easy to identify that's going to be the high. That high was on September the 12th. The B point, pretty easy. That's going to be the low from September 23rd. We had a four-day rally right up into the bearish structured resistance level where it would have found resistance is where it did. And now you've got a confirmed. To say confirmed, A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, the one-to-one -one area gets us to 1361, and that would be below that 1466 TD9 count breakout level. So that's going to be an area where you could find support. But more likely than not, what this wants to do is make more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals C to the downside move. The reason being, price is on the left side of that C to D angle, and price is also uh, only made a 37% retracement. Those typically turn into more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals C D to the downside. So I would be adding anything here. Um, because uh, what buyers and sellers are telling you is this wants lower price. So as price moves down to those areas, the 1460-ish area out there, Rachel, please feel free to reach back out to me. Of course, you reach back out to me every single day if you'd like, and we'll take a look at whatever requests that you've got in there. So thanks for the request. Have a, a magical Monday. The next one coming in from, oh, it looks like I've gotten through everything on the emails. Let me just make sure here. Yes, that was John on the gold. And yes, we did. Okay, so we got through those emails. Now let's uh, switch over. There was a request to go take a look at the S&P charts out there. Now, I don't know who asked that. So with regard to the S&P charts, Flip, is it truly the S&P charts you want? Or do you want the uh, ES Mini charts? And I probably should have asked you that beforehand just to make that easier. Um, ES Mini. Perfect. Okay, thank you very much. So now let's go flip over. Sorry, I use flip. That's his, uh, that's his handle inside the tiger's den. Uh, so that was, is that a coincidence? There are no coincidences. So let's actually go take a look at ES mini charts we want to look at for you. I'm going to look at the white background charts, but let's look at, this is the Dow. Let's look at the uh, shorter term time frames as well. So one, two, two. We're going to switch panels out here and uh, get those white populated charts momentarily. Come on, what's with the screen share? That's interesting. Okay, so now as we take a look at, so on the daily time frame, earlier flip, if you saw the show, we were looking at the ES Mini, we're looking at all the daily time frames. They each have buy the D point or A to B equals CD patterns out here. A bullish reversal candle today would confirm another buy the D point pattern. Counter trend resistance, potential counter trend resistance says that the uh, 36, 36, 77, 65 level. But real resistance out here, Flip, is going to be at 3706 on the daily time frame. Price overcomes that. We're going to see a move up to the 3806 level. We'll be back in a few moments after this break. We'll further look at the ES mini charts for Flip inside the Tiger's Den. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, so right now we're taking a look at the ES mini charts. We looked at the daily before it went to the break. A bullish reversal candle will again confirm a buy the D point pattern. If uh, price that, that would then suggest a run for that oscillator and change line currently at about 3705. A move above that will take us to 3806. The five hour time frame chart that's next to it has a nice road momentum indicator bottom. It's got a new profile that forms. So the resistance level is going to be at the top of that, which is 3693.75. If price closed above 36.93.75, let's see if we had any close above a five-hour profile in a while. Not really. Uh, we did get a couple of closes back here right around September the 19th. Uh, that lasted for uh, two bars out there, and then it gave it up. So 36.93.75 is an area to watch. If price is able to close above that on a five-hour time frame, that would suggest that uh, you could see more rally. The four-hour time frame chart. As a roadsman to a signal, but no bullish reversal candle here. Uh, so we'll move on. The uh, two-hour chart had a nice uh, buy the D point or Gartley buy pattern, a butterfly pattern perhaps out here. Let's see, was this? Uh, yeah, probably a but. It was a butterfly pattern that had formed out uh, there. Price right now is dealing with resistance at the top of its profile. It closed on an hourly basis above 36.66 and a quarter out there. Would then signal move up to 37.36. 16-minute time frame chart, it's got resistance at 36.84.50. Flip, if price can overcome that, that's a bullish outcome. The 30-minute time frame chart, it did negate its TD9 count top that we talked about earlier, but now it may be forming a sell the D-point pattern right at breakdown resistance of 36.82. So this then would suggest a move and a pullback to test support, hold resistance, which could be the top of its profile, 36.45, assuming no new profile forms before then. And it's also going to change on which is about the 3642 area. So the 30 minute chart is says uh, expect or anticipate a retracement. That says of 1144, really need to see that candle finish at 12 noon. But rest assured, if you do get a bearish reversal candle out there, that would then suggest pulling back and retesting that 3645 ish area out there. The 15 minute chart, uh, we'll move on from that and go to the 10 minute chart, which has a nice road momentum and TD nine count top. The price right now is taking on its key level of support. The next 10 minute bar does not complete for six more minutes. If price does close below 3664, 80, uh, 36.64. If price closed below 36.64, odds fail, and you get a second 10 minute bar close below that, then this suggests that price should pull back to its breakout level of 36.31. So right now, um, we don't know if price is going to break through these because we still have uh, minutes left in the uh, sessions out here that we're looking at. But this could be signaling to you and I that the ES Mini is getting ready for a bit of a pullback. And I'd say that target is really in that 36.31 to 36.45-ish area out there. That's what we see. We take a look at the ES flip. I hope that that helps you out. If you have any other questions, though, please uh, write back and we'll try to get to those. Next question. 
coming in from SNP inside the Tiger's Den. And SNP wants to take a look at uh, CF Industries out here, which is trading out at $100 and about six pennies, $100.10, whichever uh, uh, chart we're looking at out here. And uh, so what do we have here? Interesting. Um, you know, all that I really see on this is a three drive to a bottom pattern out there, which looks like this. Actually, what we have to do is go back to the black background charts. Maybe easier to show at least what Stevie's looking at. So we're going to switch back to that here momentarily uh, and take a look at the potential three drive to a bottom pattern. So to do that, we're going to use our space tool. And our space tool, uh, we need to just reset that so that... We've got a three, our three drive tool. Oh, okay, we already have it set to our three, three drive. So how are we going to do this? There's, there's, there's a couple of them that are out here. So the first one could be this to here. That's not it. The second one could be, again, I'm looking for, and we're looking for equal time spacing between drives out there. That could be one, but that's not it. So is it this? And, and maybe what we don't have out here is really a, a three drive. We don't want to force the pattern. So that would be one, and that's off. So I, I can't, can't really, uh, um, SNP, say that I don't have an A to B equals CD either, right? Because if we take a look at that pattern, that hasn't completed. The A point's easy to identify, the B point's also easy to identify, and then the C point is up here. And so, you know, we, do, we don't have a, a, right now, an ongoing A to B equals CD pattern. It might turn to one, that one might still exist. But at this stage here, what I would say, and we'll go back to the white background charts for you, is that price is trading above its oscillator and change line. And S&P, if it can hold that level, that level is 99.20, if price can remain above that, then it suggests odds favor a run up to the top of the profile, 104.92. That's really supported, even though I don't have a bottom pattern on the weekly chart. Price is back inside its weekly profile. That suggests to move up to about the 103.92 area. The monthly time frame chart out here has got a nice TD9 count top, took price back to support, which held. It's really more of a neutral type signal. So CF should rally further. And it's that 104, 104.92 area that I would expect that uh, price would uh, go target to the upside. So I hope that helps you out, SNP. Thanks so much from the thanks so much for the request. Nick writes in. And Nick says, Good morning, Steve. Hope you found the Naples property in a good shape. Pretty good shape out there. There are a couple of problems. Uh, the SMH, but thanks for thanks for asking, and I'll get to those problems next this coming Friday. Uh, the SMH is out here is what he's going to request. So I'm going to turn that on in the white background charts. And then let's re actually read the request out here. Would you mind going over short-term bottom? Uh, resistance levels. Thank you for all you do. Regards, Nick. So perfectly. So the SMH, remember we took a look at uh, the four equity future contracts out there? And it was the uh, Russell 2000 that did not uh, did not violate its bottoming patterns. That's so true on Friday with regard to the SMH. In fact, Friday, what it did was just simply set up a TD9 count bottom pattern out there. So now what we've got let me expand out the daily time frame, Nick. What you're looking for today is a close above that oscillator and change line. Since August 16, 2022, today is October the 3rd. So for quite a long time, we've only seen two days where the SMHs have closed above their oscillator and change line. The first one was September 9th. The second one was September 12th. And then boom, right down below it. So a close above that is a short-term positive out here. It also would get price above the uh, bottom of its uh, daily profile. So you'd like to see that. So you're looking for a close above both of those today. Um, the bottom of the daily profile for the SMHs is at 190.94, 190.90. Well, let me see. Right now, the uh, asset and change line measures out of 190.39. So I, I think it's pretty safe to say if you can get it close about 190.94, there should be more legs, more rally in this. Now, where would that take us to on a daily time frame? Well, the resistance zone is the profile level. So that's between 195.03 and 197.08. Those are that's a bearish structured daily profile. On a weekly time frame out here, no bottoming uh, pattern or signal that I see. You do have a potential for a TD9 count on the monthly time frame, but what that means is October would need to see a close below 203.73. You're at 190.95. Um, so uh, what else do we have for you on the SMHs? You asked for is short-term bottom, is short-term bottom in? We're giving you the area to watch for a confirmation. If I look at a 30-minute time frame chart out here, for the uh, semis out here, what we'll see is a nice road momentum indicator bottom that was formed at uh, 10 o'clock this morning during that first 30-minute bar. Uh, price should is 
back inside a gap out here. So we can see that it's struggling with from a resistance standpoint. But if price can clear the uh, 4 p.m. high from September 28th at 194.87, yeah, I'd say a short-term top with at least a move back to the 195-ish area, 195, maybe 197. So I hope that helps you out, Nick. Nick, thanks so much for writing in and have a magical Monday. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. I, uh, I like to be a man to my word, and uh, so that's why we've got this screen up here right now, and this is take a look at the TAS market breadth. Uh, so that's how we'll end the uh, show out here. This is for the 30-minute time frames, and when we're looking at the ES mini charts for flip, we notice some of those short-term topping patterns that were out there, and that's really supported by what we're seeing out here as a potential for, for the move lower. We've got 114 instruments in the S&P above the top of their 30-minute profile, and 130, min 130 instruments trading below the bottom of their 30-minute profile. Let's see what this is looking like for the NQ as well out here. Uh, the NQ right now for its 30 minutes is showing us what? It is showing us, just taking a minute here to uh, calculate, more than a minute, uh, 14 instruments above the top of the 30-minute, 42 below. So this says, okay, yeah, we should see, doesn't mean it's not a guarantee, but from a, uh, but we should see a further retracement, first retracement of the day. You know, we haven't seen, somebody's going to ask the question or should ask the question, is this a bottom in the market out there? 
And I really think what we need to see is those first retracements out here because we haven't seen really a market yet that has, on an intraday basis, higher bottoms and higher tops out there. So I think we want to watch this first retracement. It may be beginning right now out there. If it doesn't begin right now, it will begin at some point in time. And if we take a look at the uh, market breadth here for the uh, larger time frame, 60 minute and 240 are bullish out here. We're taking a look at the uh, speed dials upper right. Daily time frame as we take a look at about 55 benchmarks above the top, 141 below the bottom of their profile. So this too suggests we should see some retracements. We should see a choppy market out there. And as we finish the show out and we take a look at the uh, NASDAQ out here, the NASDAQ has bullishness for the 16240. Now in the 60 minutes to give the feel for how bullish it is, 66 above the top of that profile, 15 below. And on the daily basis out here, what we've got is you've got a total of five instruments above the top, 45 below. So uh, let's expect and anticipate some retracements. Let's watch what those retracements do, see if there's any kind of patterns that are formed, and then begin to see, do we have higher lows and higher highs? And if we do, then we took a look at that uh, descending trend line chart for the uh, Dow out there, and that suggests a rally up into the top of that descending channel line. Folks, stay tuned. We've got great programming lined up here. I'll be back with you tomorrow, 11 o'clock sharp on Terrific Tuesday. Please have a magnificent Monday. Take care. Be safe out there.